All right, so here's just a quick little update. Uh, right now I got, uh, like I said before, I had all the water cooling done and I've just been working on some of the wiring, making it nice and pretty before some parts come in. And I've been able to work on some of the overclocking. So just quickly for the processor, I was able to get it up to 4.2 and stable. You can see right there. And here is the RAM, I was able to get it to 2000 and uh, one of the sticks is actually bad so I need to swap that one out but it's able to run for a while as long as too much RAM doesn't get used up it seems to to not kick in. I've actually identified the stick and it's just a matter of, of time really. So all that boots up, I'll show you guys once the window screen pops up. There we go. Nice little gigabit intro screen. It says 4.2, 2000 megahertz, the three drives that are plugged in. There's no login screen, so I don't know the exact boot up time, but boot up time should be from login to desktop. So once this goes away, I guess you can start counting. And done. So this uh, 6 gigabit per second solid state drive really uh, really works its magic with this high speed. The little drive right there, right in front of SpongeBob. And uh, like I was saying, I did some benchmarking and just... Uh... Alright, so just... Uh do a quick little test here with Prime 95 just to show you the average temperature what I'm getting at and it idles at about 43, 44 and it plateaus to 80, 81 I could leave it 10 minutes or 10 hours it doesn't pass 80, 81 degrees so that's uh, that seems to be good there as long as I don't pass 85 I feel confident there's a lot of people that say never to pass 85, other people say never to pass 92. It's essentially all the same. You just gotta know what the limit is of the processor. And for the video cards, right now they're both idling at 40, which makes a sense. Uh, the processor and the video cards are all being fed in from the same system, so they're all gonna be just about the same temperature. And I have run Heaven Benchmarking, Fuzzmark, and Heaven Benchmarking, I was able to get it to everything maxed out. I was getting about 58 frames per second. And thanks to the EVGA Precision, which I'll pop up right now, I was able to get the clock speed to 816 and the memory clock to 1778, which I calculated out to be 33% more. So that's what I was going for, really. I really didn't care about anything else. And when I ran the benchmarking, it just uh, it just basically plateaued at like 52 degrees, give or take. And uh, nothing else, really. The video cards working at 100% didn't pass 52 degrees. So it's almost done. Uh, some of the wiring is completed. Probably next video, this should be completed. Uh, I should get all the pieces in later on this week and install them and as I said last video I was having some problem with the heatsink and I was able to mount the fan uh, just pointing at the at the south bridge really and um, the heat transfer is over this temperature here displays the the north bridge and it's at 109 that's give or take what it normally sits at it probably goes up to 110 112 on a bad day but nothing really too bad One last time on this side. So, hopefully with a new RAM stick and some much needed parts, I get this thing finished.